So you're probably wondering how I got here. Well, let me tell you. But first, let's roll that intro. We're out here in uh, Western North Dakota. I already put on 250 miles this morning. We're in this random exit where we're meeting a buddy and we're trailing our bikes up from here. Let's see what these guys are up to back here as they're strapping in. Jesus Christ, that one's even taller than my bike. You look like a monkey fucking a coconut on that thing. I want to ride back too, guys! <laughs> can I come? We can just pick up the ass. Run. We gotta take a leak. What are you right? doing? Not, what? It's raining. I don't know what you're talking <laughs> about. You know, when nature calls, you gotta go. Hopefully nobody will see us out here. Cause it's so busy. What was the town we were in? Riva? Riva, South Dakota. There was like- oh, North Dakota. No, we're in South Dakota. We crossed over. Did we? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Riva. Look at, I know something, Jeremy. I don't know, know where I am. He's lost. The grass frightens me, I'll be honest. Well, we just got to this town called Hoover, uh, South Dakota. It's like this little store. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is a cool little place. Uh, it just pops up out of the middle of nowhere in these rolling hills. Let's see what we can find in here, guys. This is crazy. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Local. It makes you wonder how things like this actually exist, and uh, I approve. We make our own parking spots around here. Welcome to Wyoming. Now we're on the search for some beer, because the uh, local liquor and beer establishments that are closest to us are closed for the day. And out here, they sell beer in the gas stations, which we don't get that luxury in North Dakota. So, a couple beers to relax the night away, huh? Before a big ride tomorrow. No luck on the, on the beer, but perseverance is the key. I think we're gonna, we brought a little bit. Not much, but just enough to wet the whistle. Just never get away from work, do you? Nope. Always working, even when uh, I'm off duty, I'm still bartending. Shut up and make my drink. <laughs> We're drinking uh, Slow and Low 84 proof Rock and Rye Union Made Straight Rye Whiskey Raw Honey Navel Orange Rock Candy Bitters. 
That's a mouthful. Yeah. That's a mouthful. I hope it is. And 42% uh, alcohol. These were donated to me for my trip, so I can't guarantee how good they're gonna taste. Good morning. It's day one of the trip. It's windy, but it's sunny, and it's not raining though. That's the key, because uh, I thought it was gonna be raining all day today, but if we can at least snake out of that, I think that'll be fine. We're unloading all the bikes out of the trailer. These two know where they're going. I haven't been down it yet, but let's check in. Where are we headed today, Jeremy? We are headed back through the Bighorn Mountain from Ranchester to Graybull, and yeah. then from Graybull up to Lovell, from Lovell back up to Burgess Junction, back to Ranchester, and then back home here. That sounds like a lot of stuff going on there. It's 230-ish miles. Damn. And since there's no fog today, we might actually get to see half the stuff we couldn't see yesterday when we rode through all the fog. Well, we got about 50 miles in and uh, it's starting to sprinkle a little bit, but we kind of expected that, so here we are in this sweet parachute fucking uh, rain gear. Stop by this gas station to check out with some other bikers we saw to see what they were up to, see if they had any recommendations for us. This guy's got the right idea today. Check this bike out. That guy's ready for anything. He's ready to take on zombie apocalypse. Anyway, I'm gonna get back on the road and uh, do it to it. We'll see how long this lasts, guys. See ya. First real stop on the trip. It's been raining and sunny and windy and pretty much anything but snowing. But it's not too bad because it just cuts in and out. We're fully geared up so we can take whatever we get. You don't want to go get bit by a rattler out here. There's a snake in my boots. We stop along this little creek. Looks pretty uh, pretty cool. It's crazy how the weather just changes out here so quickly, but here we are. Stopping for a cocktail here at Bear Lodge. Looks like a cool place. Welcome bikers, visitors, all that. Sketchy people like Jeremy, so we're good. Let's check it out. You know, I just come in here to use the bathroom and uh, this was written on the wall and I feel like you guys need to see it just because it's, it's pretty clever. I mean, the world needs to know about things like that. You're welcome.
time to get back on the road again. Head up to the next stop. This trip's been really fun, guys. Riding a motorcycle out here in the mountains is like a really liberating feeling. You can't get doing a lot of other stuff, you know. If you're riding in a car, you wouldn't be getting the same type of uh, a feel, right? The nature, the wildlife, just everything taking it in, the winding roads. Today's been a heck of a better day than yesterday. Not saying that yesterday was bad, but yesterday we had every condition imaginable. And today we've got pretty nice out, you know, decent temperatures, light breeze, just overall pretty successful. Anyway, guys. Let's get back on the road. Hope you guys are enjoying this video so far because there's plenty more to come. Where are we at, Jeremy? We are at Shell Falls. In the Bighorn Mountains. You heard it. I'm just so long for the ride. He's really telling me where we're at. To be fair, I read the sign. I don't know how to read, so he always rubs that in my face. What a friend. We just got to the bottom of the Bighorn Pass and we figured we might as well go check out this river going on down here. It is insane the type of temperature difference that goes from the top to the bottom. I mean it fluctuates from anywhere from you know 10 to 40 degree difference depending on where you're at. So here we are. Let's go see what these guys are up to down here. We just pulled out of the Bighorn Pass and now we're stopping by the Fossil Rock Tavern. This cute little uh, cafe and tavern. I think we're stopping by here because originally my buddy, well I actually have two buddies that have two Harley crossbones and there's one just sitting here. Look at that. Probably made him curious and he just wanted to swing by and stop. Let's hope they're nice. Rock Tavern. It's definitely a unique experience going in there. Check it out when you're in Shell, Wyoming. This 
place just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler. I mean, we just parked our bikes up the hill up there. And now we're just walking down this crazy thing. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous out here. You know, you walk up this hill, a little more tiring walking up than walking down, but this doesn't even do justice for what it looks like out here. Air's a little thin, it's tough to walk up, but it's cool. Reminds me of snowboarding in the summertime. After that walk, it's time for beer. Beer 30. Oh look, I brought you something. Hmm. What is this? Paco. Sure, it's a beer. Is it? Do you think it'll work? Open it for me. We should try it. It's wet, so it'll work. It'll get the job done. Oh, oh, look at that. Cheers, boys. Yeah, but it's good. Mm. How crazy is that environment out there, guys? Really? I mean, it's insane. It's so beautiful out there. I haven't been to Wyoming in probably about 12 years, and I know it's, it's similar to Montana, but it's still a little bit different. My buddy's been trying to get me to go on a trip with him out to the Rockies like that on a motorcycle for a few years now, and just because of commitment issues and things I have going on, I haven't been able to fully go so I was fortunate enough this year to do it and I'm really appreciative that I got to go out there it was a short trip but it was a lot of miles in a little bit of time and it made for some good experiences and hopefully some good memories I can lock in and I hope it was pretty entertaining for you guys to watch because there is a lot of effort put into these videos to give you guys something fun to look at by you guys smashing that like button it does make a difference but anyway guys, I could sit here and ramble all day about it and tell you my trip. But if you guys made it this far, you obviously found the video entertaining and I appreciate you guys sticking around for it because it does take a tremendous effort to put these videos together. But I do it because it's fun, gives you guys something fun to look at and hopefully a little bit of insight into my life. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, smash that like button and until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.